Hey YouTube, it's Faye, and for today's video I'm going to be talking about the engine swap that I did in my Mark 1 Rabbit. I have the 2 liter ABA engine that's found normally in the third generation or Mark 3 Golf and Jetta. Um, I'm actually just answering a couple of viewer questions, and uh, a simple Google search you could probably find a lot of this on Volkswagen Vortex. However, you asked me, so I'll answer these questions for you. The first question is, did I have any clearance issues on the passenger side, in, like the belt area? A little foreshadowing here, yes I did. I'll show you how I dealt with that. It's not pretty, but it works, and I got no shame. Uh, the second question was, do I still have air conditioning? Nope. Do I still have power steering? Also no. Um, actually, I have a rack from a GTI. The steering rack from GTI, so it's actually um, a significant upgrade from what I normally had or what I had originally in my 1980 Rabbit. So um, that is, that's, that's fine for me. So the follow-up question to that was then if you don't have power steering or air conditioning, what did you do about the drive belt situation and deleting those things? So I'm going to show you. I'm going to start by removing my air cleaner assembly and the entire intake boots. So you'll be able to see what's going on. I'm going to start by disconnecting my mass airflow sensor connector, setting that aside. Then I'm going to undo the 10 millimeter nut and bolt that I've got here that hold my air cleaner and uh, the boot out of the way, otherwise they would fall down onto my alternator pulley. Before you ask if this is a remote oil filter, this is not, this is my coolant filter. If you have more questions about that, I can answer that in a future video. Um, then I'm going to remove this hose clamp right here, and then this will pull off, as will this. I also remove the air filter so I can get to that bolt and nut. And actually in order to clear that, since I've had someone ask me this as well, I cut a little hole in the rubber boot of this air filter. And this is a Spectra. It's just you know, like a 20 or $30 air filter. You can get it Napa or AutoZone or whatever. And now I can access this bolt. Obviously the mass airflow sensor naturally has these two holes in it. I just used what was already there and clocked it accordingly. Now that I've removed my intake tube, you can see that my purple paint changes to black paint right about here. That's because I actually did take an air hammer and dent in this section a little bit. You can see it's not beautiful. Um, in order to make clearance for the tensioner pulley here. So with my setup, I don't have air conditioning, which normally lives over here. So my belt routing is alternator to water pump to crank to tensioner back to alternator. Now this is fine, but having those extra pulleys actually changes the direction of the belt and the way that it rides over the pulleys. You can see right here, I've got some epic cracking going on on my drive belt. I actually have to replace my drive belt once about every two years or so because the smooth side of the drive belt is supposed to go on obviously the smooth side of pulleys. <laughs> and then the rib side will normally fit into the grooves of the pulleys that are ribbed, like this alternator. Here you can see my water pump, but this is not the two liter water pump pulley. This is a water pump pulley from a VR6, which is why the belt that I'm using actually doesn't ride the whole way over. This is supposed to be a smooth pulley, but you can see that the smooth side of the belt is facing outward and the ribbed side is facing on the inside of the smooth pulley. Just over time, I get cracks forming in between the ridges on that belt. So here's a look at the VR6 water pump pulley that I'm using. I actually wanted to remove this to paint it because <laughs> I noticed in a previous video that it's rusty and gross. Don't mind the marks here. I pulled this off of a car in a junkyard in New England and the bolts were seized on there. So I had to do a little cutting. Um, there's also a part number on there, but if I can find one, I'll link it in the description below. Also, here is the drive belt that I removed. I had on there a Conti Tech, and there's a part number 6PK1033. However, the replacement belt that I'm going to be putting on today is a Gates. Let's see, and there's the part number, and I'll link that in the description below as well. Um, they're pretty much the same thing. Um, you can see they're the same length. Um, this is actually a factory belt for quite a few Volkswagens and actually a mini as well. All right, I hope that helped. If you have any other questions about my build, 
not just the rabbit, but the Supra or anything else that I do, feel free to leave me a comment below and I'll do my best to get to it. All right, see you in my next video. Bye guys.